हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑन फोर ईयर सीरीज लेट स्टार्ट विथ दिस प्रॉब्लम एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू ऑन फोर ईयर सीरीज हियर वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड द फोर ईयर सीरीज ऑफ फंक्शन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू पाई माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू इन द इंटरवल जीरो टू टू पाई एंड यूजिंग द फोर ईयर सीरीज ऑफ दिस फंक्शन वी हैव टू डिराइव दैट सम ऑफ दिस सीरीज वन माइनस वन बाई थ्री प्लस वन बाई फाइव माइनस वन बाई सेवन एंड सो वन द सम ऑफ दिस इन्फाइनेट सीरीज इज फाइव बाई फोर दैट वी विल डिराइव यूजिंग द फोर ईयर सीरीज ऑफ दिस फंक्शन एफ एक्स सो हियर फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज फाइव माइनस एक्स बाई टू एंड इट इज ए पीरियडिक फंक्शन ऑफ पीरियड टू पाई d1 function is fx equal to pi minus x by 2 and it is defined on the interval 0 to 2 pi so first we find out fourier coefficients of this function fx so as we know the formula for a0 is 1 by pi integral of fx dx over given interval here interval is 0 to 2 pi so now we put value of fx which is pi minus x divided by 2 dx so this 1 by 2 is constant that we can take outside and integral of pi minus x is pi into x minus x square by 2 x is from 0 to 2 pi So this is equal to one by two pi. First we put x equal to two pi. So for upper limit we have two pi square. And here x equal to two pi will be a square of two pi is four pi square divided by two. That is going to be two into pi square minus x equal to zero. So we have zero minus zero. so this is going to be 0 minus 0 so we obtain that first fourier coefficient a0 is 0 now we find out second fourier coefficient using euler's formula we have an is given by 1 over pi integral from 0 to 2 pi fx times cos nx dx so now we put value of fx and then we integrate fx is pi minus x divided by 2 cos nx dx this 1 by 2 we can take outside and we have integral from 0 to 2 pi pi minus x times cos nx dx so now we apply integration by parts by considering u equal to pi minus x and v equal to cos nx so this is equal to 1 over 2 pi u as it is integral of v that is integral of cos nx is sin nx divided by n minus derivative of pi minus x which is 0 minus 1 and integral of this second bracket which is minus cos nx divided by n into n that is n square in the next step we have to write derivative of minus 1 but it is 0 so this is the value of integral and uh, then Uh, we will put x equal to zero to two pi. So first we put x equal to two pi. So if we put x equal to two pi, here we will have sine two n pi, which is zero. And uh, here we have three negative signs, so uh, there will be negative sign and cos two n pi. divided by n square this is for x equal to 2 by 
now for x equal to 0 uh, this is going to be sin 0 which is 0 and uh, this is minus cos 0 is 1 or we write one more step cos 0 divided by n square so this is equal to now cos 2n pi is 1 so we have minus 1 by n square and uh, this is negative negative positive and cos 0 is 1 so we have 1 by n square so this is equal to 0 for all n equal to 1 2 3 and so on so therefore this Fourier coefficients a n are all 0 for all natural numbers n equal to 1 2 3 so Fourier coefficients a n are 0 now we calculate Fourier coefficients b n so b n are given by so b n equal to 1 over pi 0 to 2 pi f x d x so now we f x into sin n x d x with f x we have to multiply with sin function when we are calculating b n for a n we will multiply cos function so now we substitute value of f x which is pi minus x divided by 2 sin n x dx this 1 by 2 we can take outside integral integral of pi minus x into sin n x so here also we consider pi minus x as u sin n x as v and we apply integration by parts so first we keep pi minus x as it is integral of sin n x is minus cos n x divided by n minus derivative of pi minus x which is 0 minus 1 into integral of minus cos n x by n which is minus sin n x divided by n square x is from 0 to 2 pi so first we find out value of this bracket at x equal to 2 pi so here this term is going to be pi minus 2 pi which is minus pi into minus cos 2 n pi divided by n and here due to sine function sine 2 n pi is 0 so that term is going to be 0 minus we put x equal to 0 so pi minus 0 is pi and minus into this is in the bracket cos 0 divided by n and here sin 0 is 0 so that term is going to be 0 for x equal to 0 this is pi minus cos 0 divided by n minus 0 so we simplify all these things 1 by 2 pi here negative negative positive cos 2 n pi is 1 so we have pi divided by n and here also negative negative positive and cos 0 is 1 so we have pi divided by n so this is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 2 times pi divided by n so we have bn equal to 1 by n so therefore Fourier coefficients bn are bn equal to 1 by n n equal to 1 2 3 and so on so now we are able to write down the Fourier series as we have calculated all the Fourier coefficients so and the function fx is pi minus x divided by 2 which is continuous at every point so Fourier series will be equal to fx at every point 
at which function is defined so sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x and we have seen that a 0 and a n are 0 b n is 1 by n and our function is pi minus x divided by 2 so a 0 is 0 so this quantity is 0 this is also 0 and our Fourier series is sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n is 1 by n so we have sin n x divided by n and this is valid for interval 0 to 2 pi so if we wish we can write by expanding this summation for n equal to 1 we have sin x by 1 for n equal to 2 we have sin 2x by 2 then sin 3x by 3 we can write some more terms sin 4x divided by 4 plus sin 5x divided by 5 and so on and this is valid for values of x in between 0 and 2 pi so this is the Fourier series of given function fx in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Now we have to derive this series 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 and so on. We are asked to deduce that sum of this infinite series is pi by 4. So we have to select particular value of x in this interval such that we obtain this series in the Fourier series. So for which value of x we will obtain this infinite sum. So that we will find out by trial and error. Suppose we put x equal to 0 then it will not work we will have all the terms on the right hand side are 0. Suppose we consider x equal to say pi by 2 then first term will be sin pi by 2 which is 1 2 into pi by 2 that is going to be sin pi which is 0 then sin 3 into pi by 2 which is 0 so uh, x equal to pi by 2 will also not work so for which value of x uh, we will obtain this uh, infinite series that we have to decide so uh, let me check for x equal to pi by 2 again. Suppose I put x equal to pi by 2 in the right hand side. Then uh, this first term is going to be sin pi by 2 which is 1. Then this term is going to be sin pi divided by 2 which is 0. Here sin 3x is 3 into pi by 2. Sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 so we obtain 1 by 3 so I think x equal to pi by 2 will work and function is continuous at x equal to pi by 2 so we consider x equal to pi by 2 and uh, we see what we obtain so when x is pi by 2 uh, left hand side is pi minus x that is pi minus pi by 2 divided by 2 first term is sin x that is sin pi by 2 uh, we can write some more terms sin pi by 2 plus sin 2x by 2 so sin 2 pi by 2 which is pi plus 1 by 3 sin 3 into pi by 2 plus 1 by 4 sin 4 into pi by 2 that is sin 2 pi plus 1 by 5 sin 5 pi by 2 and so on so this is pi minus pi by 2 that is pi by 2 and we have 1 2 in the denominator so this is pi by 4 pi minus pi by 2 is pi by 2 into 1 by 2 which is pi by 4 and integral multiples of pi will make sine function 0 so these two are 0 because sine n pi is 0 now sine pi by 2 is 1 
साइन थ्री पाए बाय टू इज माइनस वन सो वी हैव माइनस वन बाई थ्री साइन फाइव पाए बाय टू इज प्लस वन सो वी हैव वन बाई फाइव एंड सो वन सो वी डिराइव्ड अवर रिक्वायर्ड सीरीज वन माइनस वन बाय थ्री प्लस वन बाय फाइव माइनस एंड सो वन दिस इज इक्वल टू पाए बाय फोर सो यूजिंग एक्स इक्वल टू पाए बाय टू इन द फोर ईयर सीरीज वी ऑप्टेन दैट रिक्वायर्ड सीरीज सो दिस इज द वेरी नाइस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फोर ईयर सीरीज इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस फोर ईयर सीरीज देन फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वी हैव डिफरेंट इन्फाइनेट सीरीज ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट सम ऑफ दोज डिफरेंट इन्फाइनेट सीरीज यूजिंग दिस फंक्शन ओनली बिकॉज दिस फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू दिस इन्फाइनेट सीरीज विच इज फोर ईयर सीरीज ऑफ दैट फंक्शन सो हियर वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट सम ऑफ दिस सीरीज वन माइनस वन बाई थ्री प्लस वन बाई फाइव एंड सो वन सो वी हैव टू डिसाइड दैट फॉर विच वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन दिस इंटरवल वी विल ऑप्टेन दैट सीरीज हियर ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो the sum of that series will be equal to value of this function at that selected point here our point selected is x equal to pi by 2 so the value of function pi minus x by 2 at x equal to pi by 2 is pi by 4 so sum of this series sum of fourier series at x equal to pi by 2 is nothing but pi by 4 and the fourier series at x equal to pi by 2 is this infinite series of numbers so in this way we can apply fourier series to determine this sum of some particular infinite series so this is all about this session i hope you like this lecture thank you very much